This episode of Jack is brought to you by Weaver Leather. Well, it's been a few weeks again because the last time I was videotaping, I was just teaching him to step around in the spin, but then I took 10 days to go up to Maine and visit my family, and Jack took a 10-day vacation hanging out. So I haven't ridden him as much as I would have normally had I been home, but we'll just show you where he's at today. I've already been on him for about a half an hour today, warming him up, and then we did some videotaping with the GoPro strapped on my head, so we were kind of trying to get Jack's perspective of things. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you just how he looks loping around and where the spin is at and where the backup is at. The only real equipment change that I made was he is now in a twisted wire bit. When you take a look at that, it's not, it's not really harsh, but it's a little bit more than a smooth staffle. And the reason I did that is because he's a lot more confident and at times he's a little bit pushy when he's looking around at the other horses and I'm not interested in getting in a tug of war with him. And so it just makes him respect it a touch more. And he's not quite ready to go into a shanked bit, but I will be showing you how we do that introduction in one of these upcoming episodes. Let me go ahead and start with just showing you kind of where he is with stepping around. And so one thing you should be able to see is that he's getting the idea. Like you can see that he's carrying himself a little bit to the left. Like he's got the idea that once I start working on this, we're probably gonna continue going to the left. So you can see that he's got the idea down. Even when I ask him to step forward, like right there, he keeps himself going to the left. That's because mentally he's focused on the idea that he's gonna be asked to step, whoa. And that right there was really pretty set of steps. He's stepping back with that inside front, so his left front foot right now, and he's crossing over really pretty with his right. That was a really nice set to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and ask him. Again, I walk off and you can see he's already almost turning himself to the left. I meant he was really good to the left. A little dyslexic there. That's really good footwork right there. Good job. He's, what I really like that I'm seeing is that he is, he's hunting, ooh, we're being hunted. He's hunting the steps to the left. And I can tell that because I'm not having to force him into it. As when I walk off, he's, he's going to the left when I pick up real light. And when I release, he stays going to the left. So that tells me that he is mentally really locking in and figuring this out. And you can see in his footwork that that's happening too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk around just a little bit and then reverse and go to the right. Now just walking off right there, I didn't ask him to go to the left, but you can see that he's going to the left. That's because he's telling me he's been rewarded for going to the left. And so I'm just trying to drive him forward a little bit with my legs there and say, we're not working on that spin because I'm gonna make a gradual change to the right instead of just spinning him to the left and then spinning him to the right. I'm pretty much done with my left. I've done all I wanna do with the left today and I'm gonna walk him out, walk him around real nice and easy. And now I'm gonna to switch to the right nice and easy because I need to ride a horse that's very smooth mentally. So all this training needs to look really smooth for him to come out having a, a calm and confident feeling and look. And you can see that I've switched into the right and he's starting to hunt it already by the fact that you know I've just got him kind of going a little bit to the right and he fills in the blank, keeps going that direction, and I haven't even asked him to turn. The lowering the head thing, he's doing that all on his own. I'm not asking him to. I'm not going to punish him for it, I'm not really doing anything in particular, just noticing it. Pick up a little bit. He isn't stepping back with his right front right now because he's pretty green. So I'm just gonna keep helping him find it. I just do that by picking up on this inside right rein driving a little bit with that outside left leg. And then if I feel him come through a little bit, then I back off and release and let him go out a little bit. And then I just keep picking up. His biggest reward will come when he steps correctly, which is back with that right there, back with that inside front right. And I'm just gonna let him play around with this. 
he's already been going back and forth, meaning one day his right will be his best way and his left will be the worst way, so I'll spend more time working on the left. Then the next day I'll come out and it will have reversed because I spent more time on the left. Uh, now that'll be his good way and then the right. See, you don't get to stop there. He said, I tried, and then he stopped. But <laughs> I didn't ask him to stop, and I don't think he tried hard enough. But it's kind of funny to see that he's filling in those blanks. He's like, I tried. I should be able to stop now. He's not really stepping back, so I'm going to bring his head around. Drive just a little bit. Hunting, hunting, hunting for that good step. That's okay. There he's starting to hunt it even more mentally, I can tell, because he's staying tighter in the circle. But he's still not stepping back with that inside right as well as he was the left. There it was. Ooh. Not perfect, but I need to give him a reward for being on the right track. It's interesting just to sit here and watch his body language because if you look, his ears are rotated back on me and I was trying to wait for a moment when they flicked forward so you could see it even better. But he's really very attentive to me and you can see that because the ears are staying relaxed back. But watch, he's got this little thing going on now where when I move, you'll see him rotate his ears back even further and pick his head up just a little bit. So right here, if I do that, you can kind of see him bring his head up and bring his ears back because he's like, attention. He's bringing all of his attention back on me. And it's funny to see that because it's actually a huge compliment that he's giving me because he's very focused. Pretty good, but he's hunting the stop more than the actual turn. Are we done yet? Those are pretty good steps. I could end any time and be okay. That was a good one. So I'll just hope that tomorrow he's even better to the right than he were today. The left was the best. And we'll just keep stair-stepping up on that. Let's go ahead and show you some of the loping around and stuff, how he looks, and his back up. Again, I'm not training him to put his head down right now. He's just putting his head down and I'm leaving it alone.
You can just see how naturally low-headed he wants to be. He doesn't really have a, a trained lead departure, so sometimes when I bump him, he'll just pop up in the wrong lead like that. I'm just kind of wiggling his body around to get the right lead for now. I haven't trained him to move his hip yet. <laughs> so you can see how far his backup has come, but he is just begging to stop. You can see when he's loping around, he's just looking. If I so much as breathe or wiggle in the saddle, he's saying, he's saying, stop, can we stop now, can we stop? So I'm starting to run him a little bit faster. Every once in a while you'll see me pick up the end of the rein and use it as an over and under or a whip. Even though I have the spurs on, spurs, I don't want to gouge him and stuff with the spurs, they're for refinement. So I use the end of the rein like a whip and I'm trying to get more forward motion. And here in the next couple of months, he'll go ahead and get his sliding shoes on. He's already begging for them. He's begging to be able to stop and you can just see it. And that's where his backup has really come along because he's figured out that what I do is I'll be riding around on him and at the end of the ride, I'll pick up on him. He backs up real nice and light. He's not fighting me in the face. And this is where we've been getting done. And so he knows that if he backs up really good right there, that I'm gonna go ahead and swing off. And so, Again, most of this riding is about figuring out how he thinks, all the way from the groundwork that we did in the beginning, and still now, it's just, it's taking the information that I gathered from the last few rides and really trying to see through his eyes what's going on. And I love him. I love you, Jack. Join us next week for another episode of Jack.